Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Tony from Tony's Professional Touch based out of San Marino, California. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how I deal with windy days or super windy days. Um, do I cancel? Do I reschedule? Uh, what do I do? Um, if you guys wanna find out, make sure you watch through the whole video. So Tony, this morning, uh, your customer was pending because of the wind, right? Yeah, so the night, last night, it was really, really windy. It was probably like in the 20 plus mile per hour winds. So, um, I was waiting on her to confirm with me um, in the morning, uh, probably like an hour before the appointment, just to make sure that it wasn't gonna be the same type of wind speeds so that I could uh, detail our vehicle. So the wind was a concern for that customer? <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, because <clears throat> she, I believe she wasn't gonna want it done because you know, with the wind and there's sometimes debris flying around and stuff and getting dusty all over again and stuff. Um, so yeah, sh you know, people don't really wanna have their cars done if it's super windy because they know it's gonna get dirty right away again. Um, but it worked out in the morning. Uh, she still wanted it done. It wasn't super windy in the morning uh, when we got it done. Uh, but later on in the day, as you guys can probably tell from our other videos, it gets windy. Yeah, and then do all customers have an issue with the wind or are some, some okay with? Um, some don't care, but um, there's sometimes where I do care and I'll be the one that reschedules or cancels on them. And that's because like the wind is really annoying to work with. So when it gets like really, really windy, especially with those 20 plus mile per hour winds, uh, it's really hard to work with the vehicle, especially if, if the area, especially if the area that you're working in is really like, um, has like dirt around or debris. You don't want all that flying while you're washing the vehicle. So Tony, what's some advice you would give to detailers when it's super windy? Uh, it depends how windy it is, because uh, let's see, it depends on the scenario and the area that you're in and what vehicle you're doing and stuff like that, but um, on a really windy day, try to make sure that nothing, that when you wash the vehicle, nothing get, that if something does get on the vehicle, uh, don't go over it with your wash mitt because you could potentially scratch the vehicle. Be aware of your surroundings. Uh, make sure that when you're rinsing down the vehicle, try to move it away from other vehicles. Uh, especially if you're like in a parking lot or something, you don't want to do overspray on the, all the other vehicles and stuff. Or overspray people. What about like keeping the doors closed as much as possible or? Yeah, don't let the doors stay open for too long of a time. Especially if there's debris around, you don't want that mess getting back into the vehicle. So that first job at seven in the, mor in the morning, how did it go? Were there any uh, difficulties? Uh, it went pretty well. Um, both of the vehicles were are really well maintained, so they weren't too bad. Um, I, I was able to knock both of them out in about three hours, um, a little under three hours. And that's getting there, doing the service, packing everything up and leaving, um, about two hours and 45 to 50 minutes. And then, um, it went pretty well because it wasn't that windy. It was like per probably five mile per hour winds at the moment. All right, well, there you guys have it. That's what we do on our super windy days. Now, how do you guys deal with windy days? Let me know in the comments down below. And remember, if you guys like these type of videos, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.